Our role as marketers is simple. Make businesses more money. Get them more customers, get them more leads, get them more sales, whatever that primary conversion is, that is what your job is. And somewhere along the lines, we lost sight of that, especially when it comes to SEO. It became a little bit more about the service and a little bit less about the results. And that's because this industry's taken off. It's gotten very bloated. There's all sorts of different avenues that you can go into within SEO, technical SEO, content, link building. But the end goal remains the same. And that is why so many agencies struggle to close deals because they're pitching services and not results. And I know that's hard when it comes to SEO because how can you really predict the future? You can't, you're working against a very complicated algorithm. However, we figured it out. For years, we've been building SEO traffic forecasts into spreadsheets by taking keyword data and applying growth models to it. We recently turned this into a web app, which is speeding it up, taking it from two hours down to two minutes. And I actually wanted to share a little behind the scenes video from a real pitch that I just did this past week and closed using what we call the traffic projection tool. And it's so powerful because what it does is it takes away objections before the prospect can get there. That question of what can I expect as a result of your services? How long can it take? This tool helps to answer that without having them ask that question, which is incredibly powerful because it allows you to anchor the price and the cost of your service against an expected result. And when you can do that, your close rate will increase exponentially because you're not selling them an expense or a line item or a cost. You're selling them an investment. An investment is something that will grow in return over time, not just take money out of their pocket. So without further ado, Let's jump on over to my computer. And if you're interested in the traffic projection tool, there's a link below, you can check it out. If not, let me show you how to close some SEO deals. Essentially what we do at this stage in the process is an analysis, right? I look at, I did like a full website crawl using Ahrefs, did like some competitive research, did a traffic projection, just gonna kind of run you through everything along with my thoughts and then some suggested solutions. I like to try and look for areas of opportunity during this process. You know, it's less about like, hey, you have 10 broken links, because that's not going to move the needle. And also, in all fairness, you've done a very good job managing the website. So there's no like glaring, glaring issues like that. It's really about trying to stack growth on top of what you've already done. Okay, so, so two simple goals, right, for a potential working relationship. One, um, pass over the day-to-day -day execution and strategy of SEO. And then number two, most importantly, generate, generate qualified leads by increasing yeah. working on traffic. So there's two things that I'm going to be referring to here throughout this analysis. One is Ahrefs. We're a big fan of Ahrefs. And then also, this is also pretty exciting. This is a tool that we built getting ready to launch publicly on Monday, actually. We call it the Traffic Projection Tool. Essentially, what it does is those three competitors that you gave me when you signed up for this, it takes those keywords, it takes your keywords, puts them all into a database, and then spits back this table right here, right? Mm -hmm. So what this allows us to look at is all the keywords that you're ranking for in those three competitors rank for volume and then current position for that keyword. Then what we do is we go through and we assign a target position, meaning if we were to, you know, run kind of our normal SEO process based on your current performance, based on the market, what do we think that we could get those to, right? In terms of the position. And then from there, what it does, it builds a growth forecast. So this is also cool because it's filtered for uh, the Canadian SERPs which yeah. Ahrefs is using kind of like amalgamation of all of them. So as you know, right, so this is essentially, if we were to say that your website was just gonna keep going on right now, not making any changes, you're on kind of a break even steady path. This number is yeah. essentially the difference between, it's not your actual traffic number, it's essentially if you take your starting position from this year, forecasted versus the year based on how you're doing, basically a break even point, but essentially you lose about 400 visits per month. It's not apples to apples, but it's just more kind of like a, a benchmark, if you will, for what you're currently doing, right? Um, so this next scenario here now, number two, is basically saying, okay, if we were going to make improvements on the keywords that you currently have on the website, right? So not looking at any new keywords, um, what do we think that we could turn that around to? Uh, and then the final one here, the most important one, is looking at uh, basically kind of an addressable market. It's not a total addressable market, if you will, but it's essentially looking at the competitors, looking at gaps, and then looking for new opportunities. And I'll show you some better charts that will show this. So again, just, just real quick on how we filter this data, I'm gonna go ahead and filter out anything that we've excluded. So we exclude keywords that are, we know are relevant, right? I go through this and actually comb through this manually. So a lot of keywords get picked up, especially, and this is where also this analysis is important because if you just look at Ahrefs and you look at, I think it was this one, ST, yeah. They get a ton of traffic. That's why this analysis is so important because I went through and I filtered those out. Yeah. So if you just look at those keywords, it's like, oh, whoa, they're killing it. But then 
they create a lot of like fluff content around like KPMG layoffs, just kind of like big co corporate company layoffs that they're probably yeah. here just to attract people in. That stuff is okay, but it's really not the focus of what we like to work on because it really no. doesn't generate leads, right? It just kind of burns resources and, and, and picks up traffic. So what I did though, is I filtered for localized keywords and then service-based keywords, right? So anything yeah. employment-based, anything disability-based, Toronto, Canada, all those different areas that you're operating. And what I'll just kind of run you through, these percentages are a little bit better to look at, right? So essentially saying business as usual, on a pace to lose about 8% of traffic improvement. This is not the best one, but this is my favorite one down here, the total addressable market. So what's cool about this too is you can click in each one, and I'll send you the link so you can go through, through this on your own. It essentially just kind of plots a forecast for next year, right? In terms of just continuing, continuing on the path that you're on. This one is then looking at basically improving on the pages that you currently have. And then again, the final one is is a total, I hate calling it total addressable market, but just kind of like a total growth potential based on, on the keywords provided, right? So it just kind of shows you the trajectory of what it could be. And we can also then use this number to look at potential ROI forecasts just to understand, you know, where you could be at. Do you have any questions on that? Just very simple. Essentially, the, the, the big learning points here is that there's keywords out there for you to grow on. Um, and as you already know, there's, there's more opportunity in the market, which is actually good for a site like yours because, you know, one hypothesis could be that, you know, we've kind of covered all the topics that we could, but again, our focus is not on the top, top funnel fluff content. It's more at the bottom funnel transactional based keywords. And that's what I want to focus on.